Decode is an awesome game so far, and we're here at Robot in 30 Hours with some incredible teams that are detailing different aspects of what they're working on in prototypes. And here in this video, you're going to meet three teams that have been working on shooting prototypes, as well as an intake and outtake as well, too, for the Decode game. So stick around. Let's learn more about some of these teams' progress coming here on FUN. This video on FUN is brought to you by our viewers, supporters, members, and also in partnership with the following. Take on the Decode season with Animark. FTC teams can discover great components such as Animark's 3-inch mechanic wheels, programmable servos, sensors that detect distance, color, orientation, and many more solutions for your team. Find this and more at Animark.com and count on Animark for the reliable service that teams expect. For over 100 years, Kettering University has offered a better education because from day one, that education has been built on hands-on co-op learning. Kettering's impressive alumni network includes founders, presidents, CEOs, and front runners who have a reputation for transforming industries with their resolute leadership. Apply today at kettering.edu slash first. My name is Ron Veer, this is Rafael, this is Eric, and we're part of team 26691 Thunderheads. So here we have a, a simple outtake design that we've developed. Uh, we use these kicker wheels and this motor to release the ball at a certain angle to try and get it into the, the goals. All right, so we can run it now. So yeah, so as you can see, currently it shoots pretty, pretty parallel to the ground. So we're working on creating a design that can make it diagonal. Uh, and now we're gonna move over to a separate design that we've created that's an intake-outtake design. Uh, hello, my name is Rafael, this is Eric, this is Samarth and Ranveer. Um, we're from Team 26691 Thunderheads, and this is another of our prototypes, and this will be functioning as an intake and an outtake. So for the intake part, we, co we come down, these wheels spin, and as soon as we make contact with the artifact, we intake. And now this can hold, it holds it right, it's very, very stable. So then we can rotate this mechanism around to a different angle, at which point we could spin the wheels another way to outtake it, like that. Um, so some iterations we went through um, involved adding this um, floor, which we didn't have before to uh, keep the artifact in, um, making it so these wheels couldn't spin, because before when they could spin, we weren't getting as much power when we um, launch it out. Um, we recently, like, we just added this so um, a neck to, for more power when uh, shooting them out. So our next steps are going to be different ways um, we can get more power basically just shooting out because that amount of power is not enough to get it up into the um, into where we need to be getting it. So this, um, w the idea behind this is to rotate it down onto the artifact to shoot it harder. Um, we might add servos to these wheels um, to hold it farther back to give these motors time to sort of speed up before the artifact hits them. Hi, I'm Gabriel from Team 9225 Dynamite Social Club. So this is our robot. Right now, we basically have our launcher. It's made of two rubber wheels that spin and sort of push the ball out as it goes through this. These are 6,000 RPM motors. So we sort of went to a few different ideas. The first idea we had was a catapult that sort of like was run by a drive motor that flung the ball up like that, but that was just too heavy and not really practical. So we went to this idea, and right now we don't have an intake, but we do have a pretty functional launcher. Yeah, so we just have to wait for it to speed up after each launch a little bit. And it works somewhat consistently. Uh, hello, I am Tyler from Team LaserBots 20293. Um, we started off the robot in 30 hours by designing a shooter that would launch the ball. Uh, we built a basic chassis to start off with uh, beforehand just to mount the thing. And it's pretty simple. It's just two wheels hooked up together, in case if you want to spin that. And then um, we are using uh, 100, or, sorry, 1,000 RPM motors in there currently. Later, we would like to use 6,000 RPM motors, but we don't have any right now. We believe that would make it faster and launch better, but right now it works pretty good. Good. 
um, after we uh, perfect our spinner, we would then like to uh, work on our ramp for storing the balls, as well as the device that would feed it into the shooter. Those are our next plans for the Robot in 30 Hours. Uh, thank you for watching Robot in 30 Hours. For more uh, robot content, check out Fun's YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. For over 100 years, Kettering University has offered a better education because from day one, that education has been built on hands-on co-op learning. Kettering's impressive alumni network includes founders, presidents, CEOs, and frontrunners who have a reputation for transforming industries with their resolute leadership. Apply today at kettering.edu first. Take on the decode season with Animark. FTC teams can discover great components such as Animark's 3-inch mechanic wheels, programmable servos, sensors that detect distance, color, orientation, and many more solutions for your team. Find this and more at Animark.com and count on Animark for the reliable service that teams expect.